All right, we're here at a little courthouse in uh, Laguna Hills with Evelyn Bradley. We just came out where Damon Dunn has not showed up for court again, and this is the man that wants to run our state elections. Evelyn, you tried to serve Damon Dunn, didn't you? Yes, I did. I've tried to serve him in his condo. I've tried to serve him at his office, and he's never there. And he even told his security people at his condo to call the police on me. And I said, <laughs> I haven't done one thing wrong. <laughs> I offer you my name, my, my uh, driver's license, all this, and I asked to see the man. That's all I did. So this man who's technically perhaps won the Republican nomination for Secretary of State of California wanted to have you arrested just for trying to serve him notice to come to court. That's right, the summons to court. And according to the law, as I've been told, he has to take that summons. But the security guard at his condo said their management forbids them to take any legal papers. But uh, a judge said they have to take the papers. So did you leave the papers with somebody? Not there. I went to his office and left them with a girl there. And uh, she just kind of sat there shocked. She didn't know what to do. But then I had another set of papers to file for Pamela Barnett, who's suing him. And so I went back to the office and took a friend with me, and my friend tried to serve him. And uh, some he they, they claim he's not there. They always claim he's not there. He's up north. He's not coming in, this and that. But the second time I went to his office, they claimed he didn't work there anymore and that he had a new address uh, because he was running for a state office. And I said, oh, fine, what is that address? Oh, we don't know. And they said, don't you realize he's running for a state office? And I says, yes, and that's why I believe he would have given you his forwarding address. And they said, no, we don't have it. And so my friend that was serving him said, well, here, you are served. And the man was shocked again. <laughs> and he uh, he tried to give the papers back to my friend. And we said we were leaving, and he was served. And we started walking back towards the car, and he followed us. He followed us, not saying anything, but just keep walking with these papers in these hands, like, aren't you going to take them back? <laughs> it's amazing how hard a person has to go to get an interview. We have been trying to get an interview with this Damon Dunn, this rhino Republican who claims Obama's his political hero. We've been just trying to get him a chance to speak to us and answer our questions, like the three property addresses he had in Phoenix, two of which don't even exist, and one of which nobody there, even the maintenance man for five, six years, had never heard of Damon Dunn. I finally Yet, decided that the only way I would really know for sure that I had properly served him is if I did it in person. And I found out where he was speaking at a public tea party. So I went there, and when there was a little pause in the program, I walked up on the stage and said, you are served. And he went like this. Oh, my God. And kissed oh my God. talking. He wouldn't take the papers. I dropped them at his feet, and I said, you are served. And people surrounded me and took the papers. Somebody told me later, I think, uh, Dr. Tate told me that it was his campaign manager that picked up the papers. Well, that's service by proxy, but uh, you got them served. What tea party was that at? It was in a, it was in a church building. In, in Orange County? No, I don't think it was Orange County. It was somewhere else. San Diego? Uh, Harbor City or something like that. Harbor City. Hermosa? Oh, Hermosa, Hermosa, Hermosa Beach? Beach? Tea Party. Mm -hmm. uh, the Hermosa. It appears that Tea Party people have been totally taken in and bamboozled by this Damon Dunn. We found the same thing at Fresno. Uh, they just defend him to the teeth. Uh, the fix seems to be in to make this rhino, this Republican and name only uh, former Democrat for most of his registration life, make him the Republican nominee for Secretary of State life, make him the Republican nominee for Secretary of State and today here at this little courthouse with four courtrooms in Laguna Hills, Orange County, California, uh, Orly Tates attempted to get him into court. And I'm not sure, but I got to say this for Judge Corey uh, Craman was the judge presiding. He declined jurisdiction and sent her to uh, another court, 
at another time expedited, but that probably means three or four days from now, to have this case to stop the Orange County from counting the votes because I myself have validated at least five people have said they don't know who Damon Dunn is and they never signed his nomination papers. And two of them were even angry about the fact that I brought the news to them that their name, their signature was on Damon Dunn's nomination papers. I did contact one man named Adams who said indeed he had signed in, he heard a smooth speaking speech and thought he was a reformed Democrat like Ronald Reagan and he didn't mind that he had signed his nomination. But at that ratio, at four or five who don't even know who he is to one who did, I think this deserves a full court hearing. Might have to go to the federal courts because the state court of California does not appear to want to deal with this issue. I'm William Wagner down here in Laguna Hills, Orange County, where Fox, CNN, ABC, all the controlled mainstream media have once again failed to do the job the media is supposed to do. See ya.